Well, hello everyone, welcome to Playframe and to Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. Do you miss The Simpsons Hit and Run? Well, no, first, do you remember The Simpsons Hit and Run? If you don't, it's a GTA-like game that came out I don't want to think about how long ago. That's basically GTA, but it's The Simpsons, and it's a little more PG, and it's just kind of goofy and funny. There hasn't really been a game much like that since, uh, until now. Now there's this. So, let me just show you the game. That'd be a lot easier. New game. Job Application Center is loading. I do love the visual style of this, too. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I take it you're also looking for a job? I need a car. Ah, yes, a job with a lease car. Just the car, without the job if possible. I see. Are you going to drive that car anywhere specific? Space. Of course, space. Very cool, sir. Yep. <laughs> Are you looking for a new job? Uh, yes. Certainly. Okay. Next, please. Wait, sir. I, uh... I really enjoyed our little chat just now, sir. Would you like to have my phone number so we can stay in touch? What's the number? One? Just one? Yep. I think I'll remember that. Okay, good luck with the job interview and the space mission, sir. Thanks, sir. You can probably get a feel for the game's vibe already, but I also just really enjoy the animation style. Just very, very fun visual style to this in general. Way into it. Hi. Hi, Terry. What kind of job are you looking for? I'm just looking for a car. There's someone in the building recruiting taxi couriers. Would you be interested in that? Um... That'll get me a car. I would hope so. Okay, I'll take it. Sweet. Now you just gotta, uh, talk directly to the employer. I am familiar with the process. Please follow me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, goodness. The little walks. The little run. The boingy little jump. It's very good. Right, following. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's your price? And name. We start with price. I don't really need the money. Just interested in the car. And my name is Terry. Wonderful. Ever drive car before, Terry? Um, sure. Got driver license then? Um, <laughs> certainly. Next question. How about life insurance? Don't need it. Wonderful. And I understand you not need get paid. Just the car. <laughs> Correct. No, no, I, I want money too. Really, it's just the car, though, that I'm here for. Correct. We will get along great, Terry. Okay. Congratulations. You have job as taxi driver. Sweet. 
There is yellow car waiting for you outside. It looked like big shoe on wheels. That's all I ever wanted. Visit my garage later, okay? Okay. Perfect. We have a job, or at least a car. The important part. Let's get out of here. Um, good to see you. Did you manage to get the car? Yes. Congratulations! Thanks. Well, bye. I'm out. Sprinkle water is loading. It do look like a shoe. Ah. Why is it? Why is the screen shaking? Oh, I see. I think the screen shakes a little bit whenever a pedestrian in a car have an, an encounter of some sort. I'll turn that off if it starts happening too much. But yes, we can move the camera. We can reset the camera. We can toggle the mini map down there and open the map. Here it is. Beautiful sprinkle water. We have tasks. Go to space. Discover more areas. Visit various places. Call people. Let's just start wandering around. I think that's basically our job right now. Um, let's get in our car. Perfect. Traveling by car is the fastest way to cross long distances. Note, Terry can leave the car at any time to interact more with the environment. Fantastic. We can steer, we can accelerate. You know, car things. We're off. And loose on the town. Guess I should try breaking and reversing. There we go. Whee! All right. Whoop, sorry. Pardon. Sorry. First day with a car. And now we basically decide what we want to do. I'm gonna try to park, hang on. I'm gonna try to, excuse me, park roughly around it, here, here we go. Yes. I'm a natural. So there's various places we can now try to explore. And make our own fun. I am curious about this establishment. Junket with Jack. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the junk store, where we buy junk, sell junk, and even produce our own junk. In fact, we proudly produce all kinds of junk all day, every day. Can I interest you in some junk? Yes. <laughs> what a good face and what a good idle animation we both have. All junk stores have a shared inventory. So, whichever junk store you enter, you get access to the same junk supply. I bet I can interest you in some junk! Long. Yes. Have a look! <laughs> Ooh! All kinds of things we could have if we had currency of any sort, which I do- well, I guess I have four dollars, which is not enough for any of this. Good seeing you, bye! I'll be back later with junk. What else is over here? I saw another question mark somewhere around. Ooh. <laughs> you acquired the pipe. Swing it to assert dominance. Okay. Terry can whack one of the many parking signs to summon his car. Note, some other objects around town can be whacked to receive money. Like my fellow citizens, I assume. We have a pipe now. We can open our inventory, in which we have a pipe. A map shows where you are on the map and hints objectives. A cell phone, which can be used to make a call from almost anywhere. Apartment keys, which are the keys to our house, wherever that is. Beach fries, they are excruciatingly salty. We have three of them. And also money. The road to happiness starts with money, or so they say. 
What else is around here? Can we just talk to random people? No? Ooh. I think this might be junk. Maybe. Or currency. Not sure. What if I hit things? Oh, well that just had money. Awesome. Whatever this stuff is, I'm collecting it now. It is my new purpose in life. I... Somehow I just had a feeling. Jumping on these umbrellas was going to lead to a nice big bounce. I was not disappointed. No, grab the other one. You missed. No, one more. Terry, Terry, there's one. There we go. Okay. There we go. I don't think there's much back here. I'm gonna go back. So now that I've collected some of this stuff, let's pop our head back in just in case this is something that they might like. Hello, hello. Look who's back. Can I interest you in some junk? I was hoping I could... Okay, that's fine. These are for something else. I'm sure if we just drive around for a little bit, we'll figure out what. Car! We're off! Let's see, where do we want to head? Lots of little question mark interest points up on the right up here. Fancy bridge. Park. Um, oh, another junk store. Great. What else? I guess the others are technically down here, but this works. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um, yes. I'm just going to assume all of this is litter and that I'm being helpful. Because all other alternatives I can think of are some sort of crime. Um, what's this? The laundry house? Hello. So, um, what do you do here? Finally! A customer! This is a store? Yes! Ask me what I'm selling! What are you selling? Magic! I'm selling magic! Wow. Some people say magic isn't real. But I object! Magic is realer than reality! Look into yourself, and you'll see. Wow. All it takes is some imagination and 15 money! Wow. Wait. 15 money for what? Even though your imagination will do the brunt of the work, it has to be simulated. By this handcrafted instrument. And I sell that service for a measly amount of 15 money. And in return I will get... Oh, you know. Things you've lost. Or things someone else has lost. I don't know. Stuff like that. Oh, okay. Want to buy a hint for 15 money? I only have 8 money. You can come back later. <laughs> Good business. Let's leave. See what other weirdos are out here. Hello, townsfolk. Pet it with Petera or Patera. Let's go ask. Oh my. They're very excited. Whatever they are. So how much caffeine have these things had? Hi, Terry. How are your fish doing? Good. Can I have a walking pet? Ah, oh, yes. Walking pets are great. 
but they're also a great responsibility. I can handle it. Is there an issue I'm not aware about? Why don't we have a look at your gummy pups instead? Gummy pups? Oh yes! Most of them are modeled after the official Sprankle Water mascots. So you may even recognize them from the statues around the town. Are you trying to sell me Sprankle Water merchandise? Oh no! You can have them for free if you help me find their blueprints. And they're just like pets, but safe! What do you mean? No need to feed them, no need to walk them, no need to pet them. They can even take quite a beating. Oh. So they're exactly like walking pets, but better. Exactly. Um, show me? I don't have any right now. But if you can find the blueprints for me, I'll be able to produce more. I don't... I still don't entirely understand what we're talking about. How'd you lose the blueprints? When I realized I didn't need a license to sell actual live animals, I was so happy. I ran into my sewing room, grabbed the blueprints, and threw them out of the window? Weird, but okay. So they flew out the window and they drifted away with the wind. It's impossible to predict where they landed. I will find them. Good luck! Help Petra produce all gummy pups. Oh my. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to store fish. Seems precarious, but... You're the one running the shop, I guess. What do I know? So... We're finding blueprints. We're... Where's the map? Here we go. Uh, let's see. Go to space. Right, right. Uh, discover more areas. Visit the garage. Call Grony. Help Petra produce all gummy pups. Visit a hat store and the apartment we live in. Wherever that is. I guess we could call Grony. Um, let's just dial one. Perfect. Uh, hello? Hello. Is this Terry? Yes. Hi, Terry. How did the job interview go? Good. I got the car. Of course you did. Congratulations. So what's up? Um, really, I'd, I don't know exactly where to go, but I did just call to say hello. They're both true. Just saying hi. Well, hello to you two, sir. Hello. Okay, bye. <laughs> Maybe we'll ask for directions later. I'm just exploring. With my very good run. Yeah, I'm pretty delighted by the animation style on this. I also just really like the fact that the character faces are just kind of like preset to appear to camera at specific angles. It's very appealing. Hmm. Oh my. That's a tall something. Back there. Whoop. Still don't know what these are, but I'm grabbing them. I want to go down and see whatever the heck that is all the way down there. Figure out what to do with the stone mushroom. I guess that's what I just found. Yeah, I guess it kind of seems that way, huh? Hmm. Yep, currently out of ideas for what to do with a big stone mushroom. Seems neat, though. Hello, odd bug. Kai. Sorry. 
Didn't know if that would work. Whee! I gotta see this tall thing. Um. How do I get... Here we go. Whoa. someone to interact with up here. Dear citizens, as you are all well aware by this distinguishable mustache, you are looking at the town's mayor. And it's my duty and honor to present to you the newest addition to Sprankle Water, the Sky Tower. Oh. I am the only one paying attention. A building so tall that we cannot see the end of it. A metaphor for the potential of our beautiful town, of course. Its sole and humble purpose is to impress the surrounding towns. And thus, after highly intellectual discussions, we have reached the unconventional decision to not add an entrance to the building. As for that would defeat its purpose. I wish for you all to deeply enjoy the new look of our horizon for many years to come. I will remain here briefly for any additional questions. Hello. <laughs> I have a question. What is on your mind, respected citizen? Why is there a road going up the building? Ah, yes, the roads. <laughs> Sprankle water is, of course, mostly known for the large amount of car accidents. But is that really a bad thing? To prove reevaluation on the manor, we have added these immensely aesthetical roads on the sides of the building. Perhaps I would be wise to discourage citizens and tourists from driving onto them. It is kind of tempting. And you would look very cool doing it. <laughs> but it is not recommended. Excuse me, respected citizen, for my time here has come to an end. I have important business to attend to. Um. <laughs> So this is the kind of whimsy you can come to expect from Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. Um, I love that we can still just see the shadow drifting away. Can we still see him? Mayor? <laughs> can still see the shadow. <sighs> okay. I wish to drive up the building. I will need my car. Where is a parking sign which I can hit? Oh, maybe I need to... There we go. <laughs> oh, I love this game's quietly chaotic energy. Okay. Step one, drive at building. Step two, continue. Ah, oh, Shoe car too weak. Dang. Hmm. Well, let's drive around some more to other places. Eh, pardon me. And, um... Look for more points of interest on the minimap. I'm sure someone can explain to me how to drive up the building. With enough practice. Um. Hello? Building. Hat store. Fantastic. Hi. 
Hang on, you have a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna clean up. You're welcome. Do you sell hats? It's the only thing I sell. Fantastic. I need a lot more dollars. Look at all these good hats I could have with money. Man. Someday. Someday I'm gonna drive this car to space, but before then, someday I'm gonna figure out how to get money and buy hats with it. Thus far, the only place I have found money is quacking trash cans with a... Did the sign just change? Hang on. <laughs> it's just sort of got scribbles on it, and then you get close and it says the actual text. Sky Plaza, where sky meets tower. <laughs> Very good. What other objects can I hit with a stick to earn money? Chairs, perhaps? No. Trash bags? Yes. Consistent source of income. Other vehicles? Ooh. <gasps> Grand Theft Auto. Yes. New car. Can this one drive to space? Must test. Nope. Terrible car. Hang on. What if there's a better car? Okay, one of these looks far more rocket adjacent than the others, I think. With just a little bit more carjacking, we can achieve our dreams. Oh yeah, this one feels way faster already. All right, citizens. Hold up. Pardon, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to... Excuse me, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to go to space, you guys. Make room. Clear the launch pad! Ugh. Quick, oh. Almost. Still, fast car. Tunnel. I think this game's energy is affecting my energy already. And that really did not take long. It's hard not to settle into the game's groove. Okay, but sorry. Sorry. Didn't know my own destructive power. Haven't piloted a rocket car before. What do we got around here? Trash money? Yes. And, wow. All kinds of trash money. This is a hat store, I think. Yes. Good, but not what I'm looking for at this time. How many of these things will give me money if I break them? There's only one way to find out. Yes. This is why we test. Ha! Hello. Jack! Hi. Why don't you have a junk store like the other Jacks? No reason. Did you just buy junk from Jack over at the junk store and are reselling it here? Yes. Wanna buy some junk? <laughs> Maybe a shovel can be used to dig holes. Ooh. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> this game's got a great sense of humor with its just timing and like intentionally awkward presentation. It's very, very charming. Can be used to dig holes. Okay. Excellent. Terry can equip or use some of his items from his inventory. Note, some items are automatically linked to the hotkeys that display on the bottom left of the screen. All right. I've seen some spots around dirt that looked diggable. Where is dirt? Can someone direct me toward dirt? Here we go. Dig. Money. 
This is excellent. This shovel's paying for itself already. Where have we not gone? I bet it's a lot of places. Where do we live also? Where's our house? Um. Hmm. Oh, there's something over this way. Let's go look. Um, this does not look like our house, but maybe it's good. What is it? Let's do a little gardening. Hang on. There we go. Okay. What is this? City hall. Ooh. Important. And messy. Tidying, tidying, tidying. Whoa. Hello. Panic. Worry. Trouble. Distraught. I see. I am bored with this room. Ooh. What is this? Trash flying around. Can I collect it? No. It's just trash flying around. I see. Well, that's quite enough city hall for one day. That sure was a city hall. Where shall I head next? Still another conspicuous building here. Lots down this way. Let's hit up these other like question marks in the area. I'll go this way first. Where is a car I can steal or in a pinch, my car? Whichever is easier to find. I need my... Oh, I can set these to like hotkeys and stuff. Okay. So like down for shovel, left for... Yeah. Fantastic. But right, my car. Or someone's car. A car. Car of any sort. Ah, my car. That works. We're in. Okay. What is this? Not my apartment from the look of it, but I'm curious. Sign. Do tell. Kinderpuin Elementary School. Nope, I don't live here. Doesn't mean I can't do a little gardening, though. For spare change. What's behind the school? Sports. Hello? Hey, Terry. Are you in for a round of orange football? Um, I have to know what that is. Sure. Impress the soccer kids. Okay. <laughs> so, what, what, what do I do? Oh. Orange football. Kick. Eh. Going for the goal. Yeah. No. Eh. Clutch. <laughs> I'm enjoying the music in this as well. No. Dang. Hang on. Pass. No. Save it. Whew. Eh. Goal! Yeah! I'm amazing at this sport I just learned. Good save. Hey. No. My ball. Hmm. 
Nope. It's tricky to kick in the direction you want. But that's alright, we got a solid lead. Boom! Get out of here! Oops. No. My orange football. Nah, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Eh. Pass. Come on, we need one more goal. I don't think we're going to get one more goal. Ah, oh, close. Well, we win. Not bad. Thanks. That was fun. And we earned some money. Most goals scored. Ha! Huh? Take that, Will. <laughs> I retire champion. Where are we heading next? Mm, I'm very curious as to what this is. Come on, car. We're off on an adventure. Ooh, maybe this is our apartment building. It's a hotel, but maybe we live there. Yeah. It's fine. Under control. Under control. Ah, stop. I'm starting to think I don't live here, but there's a pool. Feel the wind. Ooh, we swim. Hello. Um. What are you doing? I am teaching. It looks like your students are sleeping. On the contrary, I can say with utmost confidence that these people are in a deeply meditative state. <laughs> What are you teaching them? The ways of the winds. Becoming one with nature. Getting rid of material possession. You're throwing stuff away? That is mere one of the many things I do, yes. I'm doing exactly the opposite. I'm collecting junk. I see. <laughs> Maybe we can help each other out here. Can I join your dancing class? I have to go now. Maybe we can help each other out. If you have any junk in your possession, I'd be happy to take it from you. I would not wish the restriction of my material possessions upon any one child. Tell me, what goal are you trying to achieve by collecting junk? <laughs> well, ultimately, I am trying to get to space. Speak more. For some reason, I feel collecting junk is going to help me. Space. Truly leaving behind all your possessions. Means leaving behind your Earth. Joining the almighty universe in its everlasting expansion. You're the first person to take me seriously about my quest to go to space. Don't worry about others, my child. Words by themselves are distracting vessels. Many miscalculate the intentions that are meant to be converged. In fact, speaking in certain vibrations will get many to agree with you regardless of the words you choose. Wow. But I have no doubt about your intentions. Not only do you speak of your wish to enter space, your entire being is radiating this desire. That's what I'm saying. 
Can you teach your dance to me? Why, of course. Simply copy my pose and try to chant at exactly the right time. Oh. Left stick to pose, B to chant. All right. <laughs> Got it. Getting it. Getting it. Nope. Lost it. Well, that was fun. Um, y'all enjoy the lesson. Where am I going now? Still got a couple buildings here that I would like to identify. And then we should head south, I think. Yeah. Vehicle! We must leave this hotel balcony. As soon as I can. Hang on. As soon as I can. Eh. Yes! Free. <laughs> Good game. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, I need to get down there somehow. Hmm. I can figure this out. Yes. Success. Hello. What is here? What is here? You guys are cool. Because we're truckers. I used to aspire being a trucker. What went wrong? I have bigger plans now. Anyway, I'm thinking about starting a collection. Do you guys have any of that cool junk that starts hovering when you touch it? Junk? Nah, but for 50 money I'll tell you where I buried my treasure. Don't fall for it. It's just a bunch of junk. Yeah, I told you, I'm looking for junk. I mean, you are literally going to pay 50 money to dig up a trash can. Well, do you want it or not? Yes. We got a deal. Here is money. Thanks. So where's the junk at? I buried it in the desert. I was expecting something a little more specific. The desert, next to the Xantotar Highway. You'll recognize it. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. I was worried we were going to have to guess. What? We've only impressed three out of five soccer kids. Pfft. High standards on those soccer kids. Still another question mark around here, but it's probably above. Not down here in the giant parking lot. Um, how do I get out of here anyway? And what is... Oh, the garage! The garage of my boss. Eh, how do I get in? Can I get in? What is this? Hello. Here's my car. <laughs> Terry. You made it. Are you ready for work? Yes. I did just spend most of my money on a map. I, I mean, no. Oh, right. Your car too small to carry passenger. We must install passenger seat so you can do job. No. No. I need my car to go faster. Faster. Quicker trips equal more passengers. More passenger equal more money. No. No. 
I'm not going to do the job. I'm just trying to get to space. I laugh. Ha. 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 I like you, Terry. I can make cargo faster, but need resources. Resources? Turbo junk. Bring me 150 turbo junk and I make car faster. Turbo junk. Got it. Upgrade Terry's car at least once. Ooh. That must be what I've been finding around. And cleaning up. You got yourself a deal. Car, come with me. We're leaving. Man, you're fast. Not even really sure why I need to upgrade your speed. Collect the turbo junk. Eh. Need more. We got 124 of it. Maybe we can manage to get it. The car upgraded once. We can. Hang on. Just gotta collect. Probably easier to do this on foot. But yes, we have enough junk for a car upgrade. I can't wait. That was easy. Car, get in here. Thank you. Terry. I brought 132 turbo junk. I turn 150 turbo junk into one turbo up. But you only have 130. Oh, I thought I need 125. I don't know why I thought. Sorry. I'll be back. Wishful thinking, I guess. We'll get that car upgrade before we end the video. First, I gotta find where we live. I must find our house. I'm not ending this video until we found our house and upgraded our car. These are my objectives. Eh. Where's my house I live in? Where do we live? Terry, where do you sleep? And what is this? What what is this? Is this house? Um I don't think this is house. I'm just at the top of a building now. It's not the same thing. Whee! Hello? I am a criminal. I'm looking for criminal ways to increase the size of my wallet. I thought there were no rules in this town. Criminal ways from an outside perspective, I mean. Anything goes in sprinkle water, of course. Oh, okay. How much money do you have on you? Do you rob people? Absolutely not. That goes against my principles. I'm strictly against violence and threats of violence. Oh, okay. I have 14 money right now. That amount is allowance money for children. The size of your wallet must be pathetic. I just threw away more money than that in these trash bins behind me. I get the point. I suppose you could benefit from a criminal detour. Sure. Would you like to engage in criminal activities with me? Oh, yes. So, what should we do? We cannot resort to violence or threats of violence, since that goes against my principles. You are the criminal, so you tell me. The problem is, I can't come up with a criminal plan that doesn't go against my principles. I was hoping you could help me come up with a crime. Come back when you have an idea. <laughs> okay. I am robbing you, though. Hey! You lie! Give me those. There we go. Just gotta jump in. Okay, I see. Now I have 
more money than kids' allowance. Also, if I go digging. But I don't really need money. I need to figure out where I live. And where my car went. Oh! Yes, this... Explains all the traffic. All of a sudden. Sorry. Sorry. Pardon. Excuse me. Pardon. Looking for my house. Let's head south. Maybe that's where we live. One of those big question marks down at the southern end of the map might, in fact, be home. So... I see... Eh. Okay. I see a hat store, yes. I see junk store, yes. Neither of these are house. This, though, might be house. Been in rot, engraved with Sprinkle Water's earliest memories, or maybe it's not a house. What is this? Is this house? This looks like a house. Am I home? Hi, Terry. Hello. Do I live here? Um... Am I home? Yes! Fantastic. We really have a thing for traffic cone pattern clothing. <laughs> I am home. Good times. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, what else is home? Wait, there was a note on the table. Dear Terry, my sweet child, it breaks my heart that you couldn't join us on our amazing summer holiday trip. I know how much you've been looking forward to it. But when your father and I discovered your school grades, we felt summer school was your only hope. Terry, school is very important. If you don't keep up with your classmates, they'll all grow past you. Please consider this an investment in your future. Love, Mom. P.S. Your father also has a few things to write to you. Terry, my boy. I know this must be excruciatingly difficult for you, son. Terry has a hard time reading his father's handwriting and thinks one of them might be dyslexic. <laughs> Would you like Terry to keep trying? Yes. Your mother and I are putting a lot of faith in you by entrusting you to attend summer school all by yourself. I inquired Uncle Grony to keep an eye on you as we are occupied indulging ourselves in our amazing summer holiday trip. So don't get into any trouble. I registered Uncle Grony's phone number to a speed dial on your cell phone. Just call the number one. That should be easy enough to remember. Oh, he's our uncle. He promised your mother to always answer when you call. Now go and behave. We will be back before you know it. And I may be in space by then. Ah, our fish. Fish, you good? I hope so. Glad I found my house. 
Let's upgrade our car and take one more run at the sky building. I got a good feeling this time. Alrighty. Do we have 150 turbo junk yet? Because I think we're close, but I don't know if we actually have the number. If we drive around, I'm sure we'll find some. Excuse me. We could also stop by any buildings we spoiled there. Eh? Huh? So close. So close. They do seem to be clustered around buildings, though. And in trash can- no wait, money's in trash cans. What was I thinking? So close. We need literally one more, and I found more! Awesome, okay. This car is getting super upgraded. And maybe going to space if I drive at the road building fast enough. Exciting times. Car, there you are. Excuse me. Let's see, I believe the upgrade spot was... Where the heck was it? Uh, up here, right, okay. We'll go over here and I'll hang a right. Through the tunnel. Another right. It's pretty delightful, honestly. If you just enjoy an open world to drive and goof around in and do a little chores. And meet weirdo characters. I'm liking the game's energy. Terry, I have brought turbo junk. Make car faster. Wonderful. Ooh. <laughs> You've acquired the turbo up. Increases the turbo capacity of Terry's car. Okay. Terry can now activate the turbo boost in his car. The more turbo ups Terry gathers, the longer the boost can stay active before recharging. We must test this out. Come on, car. We're turbo boosting. All right. Turbo is the A button, but we better get a straight away before we try that out. Maybe if we try... Here we go. Nice bit of open road. Turbo! Yeah. All right. It's a short little boost, but it does launch us pretty good. Where is... Sky Road building. We are destined for space. There. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Turbo! Go! So close. Ah. Not strong enough. Need more turbo. You get the idea, though. I very much hope you have enjoyed this little look at Tiny Terry's turbo trip. And I do highly recommend it. <laughs> it's a good whimsical time. But yes, have yourself a good one. And I will see you tomorrow for more... Sorry, I'll see, I'll see you tomorrow for more something else. Anyway, bye!